Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. So I'm recording this straight after the last episode. I'm on a bit of a bit of a whirl here. What are these? Alpaca wool. Um, useful for clothing. Worth money. It does make me think, though, that I might want to turn the the hall urgently down on some of these people. Do you remember when I said I, I never wanted anything to be a one except for the absolute emergency stuff? <laughs> no, nah, hall urgently is hall urgently. I just maybe should be a little more careful about how I use the command. Okay, I really wish I had more crafting going on. Which means Grant needs to be freed up. Let's turn... Grant's tailoring down. No. <laughs> Just we need some blocks to do some repairs. Okay, it's um, 10 o'clock at night, everyone's busy. Grant is sewing, Mums is still butchering. Bulk goods trader. Okay, we can maybe do a bit of trading. I believe Mums is our talker. We'll wake her up when they get closer. Where are they coming in from? Ah, here they are. Where are you going to hang out? I wish you could designate a spot where I'm um, visiting trading caravans will gather. Sometimes they seem to just sort of pick a random spot and it can be really awkward to get to. Hello, Petey. Okay, so this is where they're gathering. Let's get mums up and have a word. We don't have much in the way of silver. We might have stuff to sell. Mm, you have chocolate. All right, well, we don't want to sell food. Um, you do have some components. We have 47. Quite expensive. If you run out of components, though, you can't build or repair anything. I'm going to sell any clothing materials that I have less than 50 of, because you're less likely to be able to make clothing. It'll free up storage space, and it's reasonable money. Uh, let's sell the wake-up drug and the luciferium. I mean, luciferium, I believe, is a very addictive drug. After the first dose, there is no way to get the mechanites out, ever. Yeah, so we'll just sell that. Um, you have some steel. Right, we've got some clothing. We're going to sell all that. It might mean our tailors will have to start work, but again, it's a good way to earn money. I think we might just buy some components. Yeah, we'll buy 18 components. There we go. Are you carrying them? No. Where are our components? Haul urgently. Yes, yeah, so what happens is the hunter can wound an animal and then go to bed before the animal actually dies. And then the animal bleeds to death. But at least then Mums is heading out and getting them. We do have plenty of cooked meals at, at the moment. We have 2,000 and something hay. Still, there is room room for storage for more. We are supposed to be making kibble. I 
could make someone else butcher the creatures. I think you can get slightly less food because it might be based on uh, based on the cooking skill. But an idea is to actually get the hunter to do it. Although the hunter has <laughs> absolutely none whatsoever. What are you doing over here? There you go, making kibble. Kibble is good because it never goes off. I think it's a little more... Um, failed while constructing a solar generator. Ugh. Yeah, um, it's a little more nutritious as well. So that's pretty good. Are you guys breeding at all? It's a male alpaca. There is a female alpaca, and there should be another female as well. Yeah, so we've got two females and a male, but they're not breeding. It's a little annoying. Oh! You don't buy dogs, do you? Mum, sorry, sorry to wake you, but you are napping during the day, so that's, you know, the sort of thing that's going to happen. I think we do just want to get rid of, uh, rid of the wolf. We can't breed him, and he's very difficult to train. No, you're a bulk good trader. You don't actually deal in that stuff. Okay. We do have a comms console up now, though, so if, if a passing spaceship comes by, that would be good. I always forget who our primary things are lax. Again, sleeping during the day. Can you make the research table? There you go. I mean, everything's there. It just need, needs constructing. Let's just put everything to a two. Right, do we have anyone assigned to researching? Wires. Who's also hunting a lot. But I think Wires was just doing some research then. Yes. Okay. Um, I think we got all the Alpha Beavers. A grove of mysterious ambrosia bushes sprouted nearby. If you wait for the plants to grow, you'll be able to harvest the delicious, pleasurable, and slightly addictive fruit. Hmm. Yeah, so I think hunting was happening continuously because of the alpha beavers. Uh, now, we are set up to automatically flag more animals for hunting. If we have 500 meat in storage. Let's actually lower that a bit. I think... We only want him to go hunting if we have, say, less than 300. I just want to make sure that Wires isn't spending all his time hunting. So he can do some decent, re uh, decent research. Is everyone asleep? Everyone is asleep. Ooh, you got your um, flooring done, all except for that bit. <laughs> and a heater breaks down. Now, you don't actually have a heater for this for these sections, do you? Okay, there's supposed to be a heater there. It's just waiting for a little bit of steel and a component. Yeah, I think Lax is busy doing a lots of flooring, and that's why he's not getting around to doing the... Um, doing the actual stuff. Hmm, there doesn't appear to be a separate entry for construct floor as opposed to construct thing. You know, construct building. So I'll just... I could grab him and prioritize some stuff. If the micro stutters would stop, 
please finish that heater, because otherwise it's going to get a little cold in those rooms. We don't want Jarg to be cold. Suppose we could turn the power off until we actually get a prisoner. Okay, so that's now a decent bedroom. Mums is doing some management, that's good. Wires is researching. What are we researching at the moment? Yes, we're trying to make our way to gun turrets so we can set up some form of automatic defence. Yeah, once again we're just sort of leaving all the steel out there. It's more efficient if people go and bring it in in bulk. Looks like we've got some automatic trees being set for um, chopping. Sorry, I just got slightly dis uh, distracted because the window cleaner has just sort of rattled his ladder against the window and shown up. <laughs> I live in a block of flats and the windows just sort of get automatically cleaned once a month or so. So there's plenty of animals out there to hunt. This is a nice map for that. But we do currently have plenty of meat in the storage. Well, 257. Everyone's heading out to get all the steel. See, the problem is, it, is if you don't do that, the constructor will go out and he'll pick up just the steel needed for a single construction. Mm. There you go, we have a pregnant alpaca and some visitors. A genetic scientist from the Free Treaty Colony is visiting. Okay, the visitor's bedroom is not that good right now. Oh, we actually have loads of sandstone blocks. Limestone is the priority. Hmm. Takes four blocks for each of them. I doubt we have enough to do the complete room. Let's try and do a prisoner room in sandstone. So where's our visitor? There he is. He's visiting our um, grave for some reason. Hello, Toon. Let's take a quick look at you. Um, you have a bit of a bite scar. You're a nudist with an annoying voice, but you're very good at shooting. I wonder whether armor counts as... Um... Yeah, I wonder whether armor counts as clothing. We are going to try to recruit you. You never know, we might get might get lucky and, a, and an extra body is all for the good. Right. That's a prosthetics workbench. Oh yes, we wanted that for um, an arm for mums, didn't we? This thing is set up to make armour as a crafting skill. Can we afford to up craft now. I'm going to lower the mining on Grant and on Lax, because Yarg is our primary miner. There is still some metal. Yep, looks like everyone's asleep. This is not a very good guest room at the moment, is it? Yeah, it's an awful guest room because it's just bare floors. At least you have a light. No furniture. Do we not have any wood? We've got wood. I'm surprised... Yeah, it, it's all this flooring is taking up all of his time. I'm actually going to up Grant's priority, but only on his constructing um, for placed frames. Now I'm just gonna there we go we're gonna re, we're gonna do a little a little faster construction we're gonna get Grant and Wyers to do it. Plenty of food right now. 
and we just got too many construction jobs that are just backing up and messing everything up. Okay, you're charming him. Any chance we're going to recruit you? Um, you're f yeah, you're friendly with Jarg. You're an acquaintance with Mums and Wires. You're actually doing research for us. This is an interesting thing on the visitors mod is they've actually made it so it actually starts. Um, ooh, we can make revolvers and bolt action rifles. Okay, we're going to go straight on to blowback operation. But I am actually interested in setting a setting a construction. for that gun table. Is it at the machining table? Yes. It would be good to keep a bolt-action rifle. Um, hit points are less important. But it would be good to have at least a normal bolt-action rifle, sort of in the stockpile. Oh, okay, Chief angered, but we have Toon. Toon de happily decided to join your pro uh, your colony. Hello, Toon. Okay, well, if anyone else who watches this wants um, a colonist named after them, then we can name tune that. Let's just take a quick look at you. You're a nudist and an, anu an annoying voice. So, clothing. We will set you to be a nudist. You like being naked, so you're going to be naked. <laughs> okay, so you can have a shield belt and headgear. So you can wear helmets, but you can't wear an armoured vest if you're a nudist. Um, set you to social drugs. Everything else is as is. Yeah, we'll let them wear any quality of clothing, but not if it gets tattered. That's when it drops below 50% hit points. Let's make sure everyone's set to run away from danger. Okay, you're very good at shooting, you're a doctor, and you're a researcher with an 11. It's not quite as good as Wires, but Wires does have other stuff I want, you know, uh, Wires does get busy hunting and stuff. In fact, with your shooting, you would be a better hunter. Okay, so we're going to turn hunting off for Wires. And we'll set it on for you. Your construction skill isn't brilliant, but it's not bad. Set that to a basic three. You don't do those things. There we go. So we freed up wires from, from having to hunt, and we've made Toon our basic hunter. Uh, with researching as a backup. He also does mining and hauling and, and other type stuff, so he will be kept busy. Do we have a gun for you? I think what I might make you do is trade with our current hunter. Okay, so Toon has the rifle. And you are out hunting Boomalope. Uh, why are Boomalope being marked for hunting? I really didn't want that. I do not want exploding animals being told to be hunted. I mean, it's currently raining, so... And there's a Boomalope revenge. <laughs> Jump to location. Okay, so these Boomalopes are attacking. <laughs> Let's run everyone inside. Hopefully our traps are reset and we'll be able to deal with these guys. Uh, mums once again go there. Right, everyone else, are you armed? You have a pistol. Gun, 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 gun. All 
Alright, this might burn down some of my defences. That's assuming they even set it off. There we go. <laughs> this is why you don't hunt exploding animals. It is raining, luckily. <laughs> yeah, boomalopes, um, rather than milk, they sort of make chem fuel. It's also very spicy eating. Come on. Right, just the one left. <laughs> He's decided to run away. There we go. Right, um, unrecruit everyone. They'll put out the fires, repair stuff. We're gonna. Oh no, when they bleed to death, they're gonna randomly explode, aren't they? So, Toon, we're gonna recruit you and get you to stand here. Um, cleaning bot, could you go away? No, cleaning bot. Right, deactivate the cleaning bot. Toon. Shoot this boomalope. No, shoot the boomalope. The stationary boomalope that's standing completely still, laying completely still. There we go. <laughs> and unrecruit. <laughs> oh no, the other one is actually still alive. Okay. Toon. Recruit, go here. Let's wait for Lax to clear. No, Lax, I need you to go away. I'm just going to be blowing this up again in a mo moment anyway. There we go. Please don't go too close to this thing. <laughs> I'm actually going to forbid this door and this door. Grant, what are you doing? Repairing sandbags. <sighs> Grant, could you just <laughs> get out the way? <sighs> I thought Toon was a good shot. Yeah, he's got a shooting skill of 11. I mean, I, I know the gun he's carrying isn't the best, but... There we go. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. Okay. We're actually going to move this make bolt action rifle right to the top. <laughs> we might make sure we get one. Okay, we can um, f allow the doors again. <laughs> Cancel you and make sandstone there instead. Right, is stuff actually happening? Yes, just everyone is asleep. Well, everyone being asleep is a good time to end the episode. We've got a lot of boomalope meat, which is all getting nicely butchered nice and quickly. We do have stuff growing. And I don't think I completely took away someone's priority as a grower. Grant, you're going to construct first. In some ways, it's just like, I would really like you to do that, but... Let's just make you construct placed things first. Right, but we will hit pause, end the episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.